I recently encountered a video by George Rodriguez where he used geometric algebra to solve the intersection of two lines problem. The problem is roughly the following. Suppose you have one line and another line. This line has a point on it, P, and the other line from the origin has a point, Q. So this line has a direction u, and this line has a direction v. They intersect at this point, presumably intersect. So this is always a solvable problem in 2D, and a 3D it may or may not be. But if they do intersect, then you can find this point, x, which is some combination of the some amount along u plus some along amount along v. So you could think of this geometrically as you going along u for some distance and then going along v for some distance. Say that's au plus bv. And if you can find those a's and b's, then you solve the problem. All the points on this line are parameterized by x equals, let's say, uh, L2. Uh, let's actually, let's say the points on this line are R2 equals Q plus beta v, and the points on this line are r1 equals p plus alpha u. So there's an algebraic expression for all the points on this first line, there's an algebraic expression for all the points on this line, and here's an algebraic expression for the presumed intersection. So, George solved this problem uh, in a using some geometrical intuition. He was following the geometric algebra for computer science book. Uh, I'm going to solve this in a different way, and I think it's a little simpler actually. So suppose. Write down the equations that we're interested in. So one of them is the solution of, well, in both cases, so we want to solve x equals r1 equals r2 for some a and b. So explicitly, that's two equations, two unknowns. So we have au plus bv equals p plus alpha u, and we also have au plus bv equals q plus beta v. Now, each of these equations can be respectively wedged with u and v. So if we do that, let's say we wedge this with u, and we wedge this whole equation with v, we still have an equality. However, since any u wedge u terms are zero, and any v wedge v terms are zero, this simplifies massively. So we have a u and a u, that term is killed. We have a u and a u, so this term is killed. We have a v and a v, so this term is killed. We have a v and a v, so this term is killed. What we're left with is, I'm going to rewrite it. We have v, v, wedge u equals p, wedge u. And we have 
from this equation, a UHV. equals QHV. Let's just slide up the blackboard. Now, these two equations can be solved for A and B if U and V and P and U, if, if this wedge product V wedge U uh, lies, has the same orientation as P wedge U. And it can be solved for A if uh, u wedge v, which is minus v wedge u, has the same orientation of q wedge v. If both of those are the case, then we have pen again a equals q wedge v over u wedge v, and I'm not going to draw arrows this time, b equals p wedge u over v wedge u. So the point of intersection is a u plus b v. So that is q wedge, oops, q wedge v over u wedge v. That's a times u minus B, uh, P wedge U, or U wedge V, V. And if uh, these bivectors vectors are all, all have the same orientation, then these are scalars, and there's your solution, which is the solution that he came up with by comparing the areas that the bivectors represent, which I thought was an interesting way of solving the problem, but not the simplest way.